Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for Aries for December 7. Hello my beautiful Aries. If you like to have a private reading with me, you can reach me at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also add me on Facebook, Gigi Lee, and follow me on Twitter as well. And so let's see what we have for Aries for this week. We have here the Queen of Cups. This is the first card coming in for, for you, Aries. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, you had Venus in your seventh house, uh, Venus in Libra. You also had Mars in Libra. So you you were able to attract a lot of energy, so you're coming in this week with that type of, um, uh, you know, you know, level of energy as well. And also, I do feel that you having, you know, Venus is now moving in uh, Scorpio, or as move in Scorpio, depending on when you'll see this video. I also feel that um, in this card especially for this week, you will be definitely looking for, you know, um, some type of connection. I'm not sure if it will be connection at work or connection at home or, you know, maybe connection in your life, but you're definitely looking for something. Okay, let's see what it says. The Eight of Wands or the Eight of Rods, okay, depending on the tarot uh, deck. This is a tarot deck. Uh, it's a different uh, tarot deck. It's Morgan Greer. I really love those pictures. But essentially the meaning is the same. So there's a change. You're looking for a change. You are um, wanting a change. And like I said, Venus is, you know, is now in your eighth house. It's in Scorpio. And it's number eight. So there's definitely some... Uh, some type of passionate energy for you this week. And that could be very well at work, or it could be in, you know, one of your endeavor, or maybe you see movement in your, um, you know, in your, you know, endeavor, meaning that maybe you have sent out a demo if you're into a music, if you're into a group and you do music and now, you know, you're, you're, you're being heard or people are getting to know you, you're getting some type of attention, whatever it is, in whatever, you know, a facet of your life, uh, it could also be in your personal life, maybe now that you have settled in all the attention that you have received, for those that are single, maybe now you, you, you made a choice, you know, who you want to be with, who you want to pursue, what you want to pursue. It's, it's really a great energy for you this week. And we have in the future position, the Empress. So see, wow, you're gaining uh, attention. So whoever you set your you know, your side to or whoever you decide to um, get to know or involve yourself with, it will be well received. It's definitely a mutual feeling. Meaning, Aries, for this week, if you have now decided that, you know, you want to, example, in your home and home life, you want to start having your own business and doing your own activity, not only you'll be able to do it, but what it shows is that you definitely have all that you need to start doing it now and be very successful at it and be, you know, uh, welcome in, you know, in a group or in, type, in any type of collaboration. For you and in your work it could be also that you know uh, you have worked on different type of project but there's a project that you really want to have and you're deciding to go for it even if you may not have the because it's a, the Empress it's a very feminine card even if you may not have what you think is the academic or the baggage you still bring something that 
is a value and a lot of people want. So it could come out that way. You know, this is also, it's a very general reading. I have to say this because it, it will never uh, manifest the same way. Okay, but um, this is a general energy for you, Aries. And let's see the outcome for this week. love this um i hope we see the card properly this is the nine of cups um he looks like you know the genie asking you to choose but yes it means that you will get a reward something is coming your way something that you have been wanting for a certain amount of time but it's a gift from spirit it's a gift from god it's a gift from the source energy, you know, because you're coming from this great energy where you're giving a lot of love. And this week, I feel that because, you know, the major arcana that we saw, well, I mean, one major arcana here um, is a woman, but the other, you know, uh, court card, which is also have a high meaning, is also a woman. And it's the Queen of Cups. So it's a very nurturing, maternal energy of you giving. And you know, when it's a circle of life, that's what it is. You know, when you give, you receive. So you will receive something this week. And so give abundantly. Give without, you know, um, expecting, of course. Uh, the Queen of Cups always give without expecting. So that's what you have been doing. You know, um, and then there's something at the end of the week that will manifest for you, you know, some type of like uh, benefit or some type of reward. It could be depending on how, you know, uh, you know, this affects you in your personal life. It could be related to work. It could be, like I said, that, you know, now that you have been doing some type of project or training, you have decided to do something, to go into a certain department, and they're telling you, yes, we want you. We want to work with you, actually. We we were looking at you. You know, the energy is definitely um, um, giving towards you, okay, this week. I'm very, very happy for you because I think Aries deserve it so much. So I will end this reading here, my beautiful Aries. I trust you are well. If you like this uh, reading, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also like and share my video. I would appreciate it. And again, if you like to have a personal reading, you'll see all my information below the video. And until next week, I'm sending you a lot of love and blessing, Aries. Bye.